John's cell. The first type of cell is called the chief cell. Also called a zygomatic cell. But I don't like that because there's many other types of zygomatic cells. I'll explain this. What does the chief cell make? Look, when stimulated, the chief cell releases a free enzyme called pepsinogen. Pepsinogen is an inactive enzyme. I want to stop and teach you this right now. Anytime you see anything ending, O G E N. It is a zymogen. It's called a zymogen, and it means inactive enzyme. All with me. So pepsinogen is an enzyme that yet doesn't work. It's inactive. You see? I'll, I'll make it active, don't worry. Two, parietal cell. When you stimulate it, it releases hydrochloric acid. And, oh, guess what else it can release? An old friend of yours. An old friend of yours. Intrinsic Do you remember that, guys? Yeah. Huh? Remember we did blood? Remember? B12 cannot get absorbed unless it's attached to intrinsic factor. It seems like we learned that a year ago, doesn't it? This term is going fast. You know, we only got about another five weeks to go. That's not good. Wait till you see this cell. If you get this wrong, I'm going to kick you. They're called mucous cells. They make mucus. Now, I want to stop for a second. Yes, why do you want to make mucus? This is really cool. Because the mucus comes up, the lumen of the gland, you with me? And it coats the inside of the stomach, preventing what from doing damage? The acid. The acid. Isn't that cool? You better have your cell. And I'll tell you something else. Right? You're going to love this. Ready? About 6% of what you eat every day is your stomach. In other words, the lining, what, does break down. Do you with me? The cells get destroyed, and they get treated like what? The steak you just ate with the tofu. But to be healthy, they have to what? Break down at the same rate that, that they're synthesized. If the two balance, you're not going to have an ulcer. If cells are breaking down, what, faster than they are, what, making new ones, you're in trouble. And one thing that helps you in not breaking down the cells too quickly is the mucus covering. It protects it. Does that make sense? Everything has a purpose. Everything has a purpose. What did I tell you about my grandpa? Oh, you all ready? Take a deep breath. The fourth cell are called argentogen. They release gastric. Oh, wait a minute. I want to write it in red. You know what? Gastrin is 
is a hormone. And gets released. into the blood. Okay. Are you ready? Pay close attention. This is the gland. These are the cells. This is the chief cell. Chief, chief, chief. I'm just going to do this. These are parietal, parietal. These are argentifers. So far, you all with me? I'm just scattering them. This is what I want to show you. The chief cells release their product where? Into the lumen to go up to the surface. Huh? The parietal cells release. There are substances which are what? HCL and intrinsic factor. And they go where? All of this goes which way? They're all going up to the surface of the stomach. But the argentifer cells, that is green, they're going to release their substances where? Out the back to go where? into the blood. Remember, out in the back is what? Lamina propria. What is lamina propria? It's connective tissues with capillaries and blood vessels. And so the objective cells release a hormone. Hormones always enter the blood. You all with it? Everyone with it? I have time, that's fast. I gave it to your machine. I have a fifth cell called an enteroma. I, I, I don't care if you learn about it. Or chromatin cell. This is called chromatin cell. I'll make it easy. Don't worry about them. Okay, here you go. What does gastrin do? Where the blackboard over here? I'm going to give you four functions of gastrin. You know these like your own name. I will say this before I do it, so you really get this down straight. Gastrin goes into the blood, correct? The blood goes where? Everywhere. Listen, as far as I know, gastrin has no effect on the brain, has no effect on the liver, no effect on my muscles. The only place that gastrin seems to have an effect is on the stomach. So when the blood comes, what? Back to the stomach and a few others, another a couple of structures, okay? That's where it exerts its effect. Are you all with me? So here's what gas. Did you follow that? Gastrin goes into blood, then it comes back to the what, stomach area. Here are the four effects of gastrin. They're really important. Big one. Stimulates. The release. HCL and have synergy. That's easy. Can I make them? Oh, release HCL and have synergy. Two. It's going to cause contraction. Big one. I wish my, I wish the hell it worked with me. Of, I'll use the last, the easy name, cardiac sphincter. Remember, that 
that's the lower gastroesophageal sphincter. Great. It stimulates the fractures of the stomach muscularis. It's going to make the, the stomach what? Move, turn. Relaxation. Last one. Um, the pyloric sphincter. In other words, as you're mixing the food with the juices, what do you eventually want the food to do? Leave the stomach and go into the duodenum. Does that all this make sense? Gastrin is extremely powerful. Okay? Does a lot. It makes the stomach what? Churn. It makes it secrete, right? It prevents acid from going what? Back up by constricting the cardiac sphincter, right? And it allows food to leave by opening the pyloric sphincter. Okay. Everybody with me? That was easy. I got a grandpa.